Okay, hello everyone. So I'm going to be going through another question based on our constant difference and it's based on our PSLE 2022 paper. Now, take note that this is based on section A, paper 1, and it's the last question here. We are going to be seeing our constant difference because the moment we look at the diagram, there is actually two parts equal to one another. And these two will play a big role in our question later. Let's read the question. Matthew pushes two sticks A and B straight into the ground until the length of each stick that is above the ground is the same. One third of A and one eighth of B are in the ground. The length of A in the ground is 30 cm longer than the length of B in the ground. And since we notice that if we were to remove both A and B, all we are left is at the bottom, which is the sections inside the ground. So again, the way we are removing the top parts above the ground is basically like a constant difference. So let's write our ratios. Our ratios of the total heights of both A and B versus the sections below the ground. And I'm going to write it for A and B separately. So for A, there are three parts out of the one part below the ground. Okay, We have eight parts for B, where one part is also below the ground. And we notice that if we find their difference, the difference is two for A and the difference for seven is B. Now, as mentioned, these two sections of A and B are going to be above the ground and they're going to be equal. So we should try to find a way to make both of them the same. In this case, we can multiply by seven to the top and multiply two to the bottom with the same concept for total below and the difference. Now you can now obtain the values of 31 is to seven is to 14 and 16 is to 2 is to 14. Now we can see that the sizes of the parts above the ground are equal and hence the difference between our A and B would be the most important factor. Minus 5u, minus 5u and the reason being because there is a 30 cm difference. So the last part would be 5 units equals to 30 centimeters where 1 unit equals to 6 centimeters allowing us to find the total length of both stick A and stick B. So what's the total length of stick A and stick B? We base on the new ratio. So always remember because we are determining the minus 5 units from the new ratio, we use the new ratios for our future calculations too. Total being, in this case, 21u plus 16 units, which is 37 units. And all we need to do is just to take 37 times 6 and we get 222 cm. So constant difference is still quite a common question in school, but this is one of the ways that we can solve our constant difference question.